Young niggas been poppin' shit We them niggas ho, it's obvious Count the racks, I get a lot of We the ones that's poppin' Like me cause I'm poppin' Fuck me cause I'm poppin' I might take you shopping. Check my wrist, it's poppin' Check my bitch Hey, welcome to part two of the bleaching transformation video. Now, if you haven't already checked out part one of the video where I stripped my hair of that reddish orange fiery color that it was before, I'm going to go ahead and leave the link to that video down in the description box below. Make sure you check out that video before you go ahead and watch this video. And I'm going to go ahead and get into the video. So, in this video, I will be taking this color to a beautiful platinum blonde. So the products that I will be using in today's video is Vaseline. Yes, y'all, you might be wondering why I'm looking a little shiny around the edges, why it's looking like you can fry some chicken on my forehead. That's because I coated my hair in Vaseline and olive oil. I actually put olive oil over my hair just to give it a little moisture um but yeah that's what i have around my edges just so i don't get that that dye doesn't stain my skin i'll also be using a dye mixing bowl and a brush i got this from sally's a while back i've had this for a while it comes in handy when you're dyeing your hair and mixing so you don't have to get that products on like your dishes or anything and it, it's cheap like the brush is on like $2.99 and the bowl is like $4.99 I think it's something like that and then what I will be using is 40 volume developer and bleaching powder Of course, some plastic hair caps. And I will be toning with Shimmering Light Shampoo for silver and blonde hair. So, let's go ahead and get started. All right. Hey, guys. I'm back. I will first be taking this BW2 bleaching powder that I picked up from Sally's and pouring it into this pink mixing bowl that I also got from Sally's. I'm just making sure that I get the entire contents of the packet into the bowl. Next, I will be taking the 40 volume cream developer and pouring it into the bowl as well. The mixing bowl actually has measure markers on it. So that's how I knew how much product to pour into the bowl. The instructions say that I should be looking for a thick paste-like consistency. So I'm going to take the end of my dyeing stick here and mixing those two together until it's to the consistency that I like. See, not too runny, not too thick. Now that it's to the consistency that I like, I am going to begin applying this bleach to my hair. Now, y'all know I am not a professional. I never claim to be. And this is my first time bleaching my hair. I've colored my hair before, but I've never bleached it. So I'm actually focusing on the front because that's where most of the color was. And then I worked my way um, from the crown of my head to the back. This was a long process, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. All right, guys, as you can see, my hair is completely covered in bleach. And this is only within the first 15 minutes. My hair started to take to the bleach really fast. So I actually had to work faster to make sure I was getting all of the bleach in my hair because I don't want to end up burning myself or having a reaction to the bleach or anything. So right now I'm just making sure that Every part of my hair is covered evenly. I had to go back over my sides because I've kind of forgotten <laughs> to do those. So that's what I am doing here and just making sure that every bit is covered in bleach before I go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, now that my hair is completely covered in bleach, 
wow this is crazy y'all i'm so surprised at how fast my hair took to the bleach but i am going to go ahead and let it process i'm going to apply the plastic shower cap and let it sit for about 45 minutes i'll catch you guys at the next step hey guys i'm back and as you can see i still have the plastic cap on it's almost time for me to um rinse my hair out but look at the color like it's a super bright yellow and I'm so eager to see how this is going to turn out. Like I keep looking at it like, is it done yet? No, <laughs> still got to wait, got to be patient. But I'm so eager to see how this is going to turn out. But let me tell y'all the crazy journey I had to go on. So I'm thinking I got all the products I need to dye my hair. So after I stripped the color from my hair, I let my hair air dry for like an hour or so because I have really short hair and it don't take that long to dry. But anyway, so I let my hair dry for like an hour or so and I'm getting ready to start bleaching it. I didn't turn the camera on. I'm getting ready to sit down and start bleaching it and I'm grabbing the products to show and I'm like, I got the wrong developer. So I actually bought 20 volume developer instead of 40 so i looked at the clock and it's like 8 30 sally closes at nine i'm like how the heck am i going to get to sally's i gotta do this because i gotta get my hair cut tomorrow and already stripped the color like i cannot wait to do this like I, this is the plan i set the plan i gotta follow through with the plan so i hurry up throw my jacket on put some shoes on and I pew, rush out the door, get in the car, drive to Sally's. I got there in like five minutes. I'm not going to tell y'all how far Sally's is from my house or how fast I was driving. Just know that I got there safely and I made it back home safely. But I got there <laughs> right before Sally's closed. And luckily, the lady was so nice that all she did was ran in the back and grabbed the 40 um, volume developer and handed it to me. And I was on my way back home to start the bleaching process. So I was really happy I was able to do that because y'all, let me tell you, if I wasn't able to finish my hair, y'all wasn't going to see me. There would be no videos this weekend at all because I was dead set on doing this and I was not changing my mind. <laughs> but yeah, so moving right along, let me back up and apologize to you guys because I did not show the whole process of me applying the bleach to my hair and I'm so sorry guys but just understand I wear glasses like they're right here these are my glasses I wear glasses I cannot see without my glasses I tried looking into the viewfinder or the mirror behind me and trying to dye my hair it, mm -mm. it was a no-go y'all I, I could not see i literally like you'd be surprised to know how bad my vision is because i i can't see period like period i can't see so unfortunately i had to turn the camera off and use the bathroom mirror and i was like this close to the mirror trying to do it but i got it done and i promise you guys if i ever decide to do this again i will be wearing my contacts and you guys will be able to see the whole process please don't hold it against me and just make it to the end of this video but i just need y'all to subscribe to my channel click that red subscribe button right there below i know i usually do this in the beginning of the video but I was so excited to get this done. It's late at night. I'm ready to go to sleep. So I kind of skipped that step. Also, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and turn on that post notification bell so you can see every time I upload a video. I will catch you guys when I rinse this out of my hair. All right. Well, well I don't even know what to say about this, guys.
Now I am going to take the Purple Shimmer Light Shampoo for blonde and silver hair. The purpleness of the shampoo is supposed to neutralize the yellow tones of the bleach. As you can see, I have a lot of yellowness around my edges, the front of my head, the crown, and somewhat in the back. And y'all, I ended up ditching the brush because it was just too hard to apply shampoo with the brush so i'm like it's just shampoo why not use my hands so that's what you see me doing here i did make sure that i got a nice even coat of that shampoo in my hair and let me tell y'all this is a shampoo so it will lather up so be prepared for the suds and soap okay now, like I said, I continued to apply that shampoo until it was evenly coated around my hair. I did actually end up toning my hair after my haircut the next day. I just did this to get rid of a lot of that brassiness. Now, I will say I did notice a change in my curl pattern. It was a lot looser, but it was not damaged, but it wasn't my normal texture. So I, I didn't really have much to complain about that. But I got the rest of this shampoo in my hair. I'm going to go ahead and let it process for about 10 to 15 minutes with a plastic cap on. And I will catch you guys after I rinse it out. All right. Hey, guys. I am back once again. This is my hair after I toned it. Now, y'all, it's really late. It's about 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm super tired. I have to work in the morning. So I'm trying to hurry up and get through this process i did not expect it to take this long but whatever it has and i'm gonna just go through with the whole thing and get it over with so like i said i just got done toning it with the shimmering light shampoo i actually shampooed my hair i think like four times or something because it was still super yellow and i know it looks yellow in the light but my roots are actually like super white up close so yeah hopefully when i go and get my hair cut tomorrow this will kind of all this yellow will be gone because we'll be down to the root of it but um after i shampooed four times with the shimmery light shampoo i went ahead and gave myself a deep conditioning treatment i used the jamaican black castor oil um strength and restore mask by Shea Moisture. I do have a full size of this. I just don't know where it is, but this is what I use to deep condition. And right now I am adding some leave-in conditioner. I'll probably end up doing like a quick little wash and go or something. So it's presentable for work tomorrow. I know I'm going to be getting some crazy stares and comments and whoo Lord, I make sure I pray. So I am receiving of that because you know everybody is not gonna like everything and that's fine with me but some people just say whatever they want to say but yeah guys i really thank you for watching this video with me um i guess we'll just see the the ending product i'll definitely be posting pictures at the end so you guys can see how it turns out after my haircut please make sure you are subscribed to my channel Click that red subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up and turn on that post notification bell so you can be notified every single time I upload. Y'all, that is my time. I'm going to bed now. Bye.